EEG matrix. Of course, even you guys, I know now you're writing using the helicopter style. So we have our four quadrants here. The first one is the market growth. The first one is the market growth. So market growth, we are looking at the cash usage. Basically, this is the advertisement. This is the advertisement, advertisement. This is the advertisement. This is the advertisement, advertisement axis, right? We advertise, of course, we grow our markets. Advertisement doesn't come to us for free. We must be using money, cash usage. So the cash usage here could either be low here, low or high, low or high. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have in this case here, our market share, our market share. So market share normally is measured on the basis of revenue. Market share is normally measured on the basis of what here? On the basis of revenue. Market share is normally measured on the basis of revenue. Revenue generated on the basis of revenue generated. So what do we have here revenue generated? We could either be having low revenues, low revenues or uh, high revenues, or high revenues like that. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what we shall be having here, right? This is what we shall be having there. So there is this product that we have lost hope with. This product, we are not even advertising it at all. After all, even if you tried marketing it, you realize straight away that the, the revenues you get out of this are what here are low. So products, ladies and gentlemen, which are not growing at all, and uh, the market share in this case here is minimum, are what we call what here somebody. These are dogs. These are dogs. These are dogs. Now listen and listen to me very well. How about those products that you are not marketing at all, or rather marketing is very insignificant. Marketing is very insignificant, but they happen to be very lucrative. They happen to be very lucrative products that we are not really advertising at all, but they are really selling, selling, selling. We call them cash cows. These are basically our cash what here? Our cash cows. Right? Right? Ladies and gentlemen, listen and listen to me very well. There will always be those kind of products here that you are aggressively marketing. You are really marketing them, but the market is not responding. The share, the market share is not growing. So you are marketing them aggressively, but the marketing, uh, market share is not growing. We normally call them the question marks. The question marks the question marks, or what you also call the problem what here? The problem child, the problem child. Yani mutoto, unampatia serelak. Unampatia serelak sawas, lakini mutoto kena kumpima weight kwa daktari, daktari rakwambia always underweight. Mutoto are respond in terms of uh, weight. So you mutoto ateto na mlagani somebody problem, child it's a question mark that we have around why because we are really pumping in a lot of money into this product and it is not responding at all so it will be called what here somebody a problem child how about this one here ladies and gentlemen we are advertising aggressively and then at the end of the day the product revenue is responding highly we shall call this we shall call this straight away the stars yes the stars the stars now, I know you guys are so good at this, but uh, could you kindly tell me, in Kenya here, I know you must have seen so many companies advertising products. Which product would you say is a star product? Which product would you say is a star product? For those of you who normally, a star product, 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 a star product. Not company, a product, a star product, a star product. Umeona hii kampuni inatengeneza sabuni ya mwosho moja. Hiyo sabuni ya mwosho moja, those guys, ladies and gentlemen, who are aggressively advertising, mpaka wakapiga nini? Wakapiga omo with power foam inje. So, aerio soap, aerio, aerio, iko namna hii. Aerio iko namna hii. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, ikita problem child, really, I sympathize with the Unilever. I sympathize with the Unilever. 
because Unilever is really putting in a lot of uh, money, a lot of uh, advertising cash in their OMO product. But OMO, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is not really growing. It's not growing. It's not growing at all. It's even being beaten by some brands from uh, Tanzania, from Uganda. Why? Because I don't know whether it, this is truthful, ladies who are here, that uh, normally OMO detergent is quite corrosive. It's quite uh, corrosive, very bad for our hands. Is it true, ladies? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Ah, okay. Okay. They are very corrosive, you see now. So even if these guys are marketing it aggressively, this product will never grow. And that is why it is important now they need to raise and say, hey, let's put a question mark here. How comes we are a big entity and Omo is among us those oldest brands that we have? How comes you're not able to push this thing in the market? Right? If there is a, a company, and gentlemen, that does uh, this concept of analyzing their products very well, and they are able to make decisions here quite first, it is EABL. EABL, they have uh, always uh, looked at their markets very well. They know really, like now they realized, they realized that uh, this particular product, despite them really having uh, been advertising it very aggressively, Alvaro, despite them really having uh, ad advertised it aggressively, Alvaro's market share was not growing. Novita came, did very good advertisements. We were seeing in this case here, people after drinking Novita, they were being raised up there like that, and Novita was able to beat it. So in this case here, of course, EABL had to cut down on production of Alvaro so much because it became a problem what here, a problem child. You see some of the products that you guys are raising here, some of the products that you guys are raising here are cash cows. If you ask me, Fuliza will be there. Have you ever seen Safaricom really advertising their Fuliza so much? Have you ever seen Safaricom advertising their Fuliza so much? Do they advertise their Fuliza so much? And yet right now, if you were to look around, but you guys, of course, your age cannot allow you to have Fuliza, isn't it? From, from what I'm able to see, you guys cannot be having Fuliza. Now, BCG dogs, just a high level. When we talk of BCG dogs, ladies and gentlemen, BCG dogs, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? Products in the dogs quadrant are in a market that is growing slowly and where the products have a low market share. Products in the dogs quadrant are typically able to sustain themselves. They're not badly off and they provide some cash flows, yes but the products will never reach the stars quadrant. They'll never move. Farms, so however hard you try, they will never reach there. Farms typically face out products in the dog's quadrant. Unless the products are what year complementary to existing products or are used for a competitive what year purpose. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, as a strategy, when we get uh, products here that are, that are dogs, when we get products here that are dogs, the very best thing is to do what year to discontinue it to discontinue them from our production lines, from our shelves, we simply face them out. But remember there is a condition. What if in this case here, these are the products that are making people to come out there to come and buy other products. So they buy them plus other products. So if they are complementary, of course, you have to look at that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from there, we have this one here, this one here, which, is, which are the stars. So the stars, of course, these are the best performing products. We are advertising them aggressively. So the strategy here will be for you to pump even more money to stars to keep on growing their market share. So stars consume a significant amount of cash, but also generate large cash flows as the market matures and the product remains successful. Stars will migrate, of course, to become what your cash cows. Once in this case, this market matures, it'll reach a time when you will stop marketing these products and then they become cash cows. So stars are a company's priced possession and are at the top of mind in a farm's production portfolio. Portfolio. If you ask me, a product like Tasca Lager, no, Tasca Lager is the biggest uh, product of EABL, right? And you're going to be surprised that they have, uh, I mean, that is like a department. That product called Tasca is like a department in EABL. You'll be surprised, like when you go to some countries like South Africa, right? Even Britain, you will get a bottle of Tasca, but you can't get other bottles. You can't get other bottles, right? Because in this case here, they have known that really this is our major product. 
This is the product whose market share is bigger, biggest, and of course, it keeps on doing what you're growing. And even them, ladies and gentlemen, normally they do not tire in market. Look at some of the biggest billboards that we have around here. They are advertising what here? They're advertising, ladies and gentlemen. They're advertising, ladies and gentlemen. They're advertising Tasca brand. Tasca brand, right? So then we have the cash cows. Cash cows, of course, ladies and gentlemen, these are those uh, like uh, the blessed products that you have. Products that you are not really, ladies and gentlemen, marketing heavily, but you realize, you realize that uh, money is flowing in, right? For them, what do you do? You milk them. But as you milk them, never pay dividends out of uh, the money you get, ladies and gentlemen, out of these cash cows, right? Don't think that this is uh, money that you are milking onto your pockets as shareholders. Once you get that money, you need to invest in marketing uh, what we call the stars, what we call the stars. So cash flows generated by, uh, rather cash flows generated by cash cows are high and are generally used to finance stars and question marks. Products in the cash cows quadrant are milk and the farms invest as little cash as possible in them, of course, while reaping the profit generated from the products like that. So I hope that is okay. I hope that is okay. At least you have an idea of what you can write if they were to bring this kind of a, a question now, this kind of a question. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today's class is going to be very nice, but as I told you, again, quite uh, a short, and I would want to ask you a few questions here. What are, so you have to write this. You have to write this a question, as a question. I would want you guys to give me the main barriers. What are the main barriers to optimal implementation? The main barriers to optimal implementation of strategic plans. What are the main barriers to optimal implementation of SP, SP for strategic plans? So here we are as a RCM online college. We've been able to do our strategic plan, say five years strategic plan. How comes in this case here, most organizations just shelf their strategic plans. They're not able to implement them. Somebody has just told me, Mualimu, you know what? Lack of what here? Lack of resources. Lack of resources. I like that. Resistance from employees, yes. Resistance from employees, resistance to change. Because some of the things, ladies and gentlemen, that are captured in the strategic plan could be a little bit making these employees uncomfortable. Thank you very much. We have number three, changes in the environment. Unforeseen drastic changes. And for seeing drastic changes, you had said in your strategic plan that by 2020, year 2020, your revenues were to be up there. And because of that, you were to do blah, blah, blah. And then COVID-19 comes. And for seeing changes are like that. Lack of support from top management. Lack of support from uh, top management. Lack of uh, support from top management. Lack of support from... Uh, top management. Then I can see there, unrealistic plans, yes. You guys said that by this time round, as RCM Online College, you wanted to have 2,000 students. What okay, what? Technological changes, I love that. Technological changes, yes. Technological changes, things change. Things change. I love that. So in a bit of rice, rice, take a moment to book. And if it comes to time, lack of time, right? Lack of what here. Uh, for example, this thing is very expensive even to implement. Lack of the technical skills of implementing this strategic plan. Those are the kind of things that I would want you guys to be thinking about. This is Kalikali, you know, to you, you. Aya, kumbuke ni high level. Paka hapo, tuko pamoja kweli, paka hapo. Nikienda mbio sana pia mnaniambia mwalimu hapana mnaniambia mwalimu hapana paka hapo tuko pamoja great thank you very much 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 lakini mnasikia namna gani mambo ya masomo sasa mnasikia namna gani masomo mali kwa mwanafunzi mwenye anapata mental block ukiendelea kusoma especially the students who are doing six papers inafika time yani unasikia ni kama haujui chochote Ukishika kitabu ya LM hivi, 
Una kama hii ni afadhali unaweka kando. Unashika ya AFM. Tena kidogo unaweka kando. You are, you are so much unsettled. Hata mwili umegonjeka tayari. <laughs> Kwanza AFM. Hapo <laughs> ndiko. <laughs> we we shall overcome. We shall overcome. But remember, we have given you those eight videos. Remember those eight videos. The eight videos we given you the eight videos, this last mile videos, last mile videos and remember we were very fair to you guys. We sold uh, to you these videos at just 500 shillings. These videos are the ones in this case here you keep on doing what here, yeah? watching. You keep on watching, you keep on watching like that. And then of course ladies and gentlemen, also ensure that you attend all these classes here that I'll be offering to you for free. Yeah, all these classes that I'll be offering to you for free. So please ensure that you work with these videos. Simshapata hizi videos nyota, iko mwanafunzi ana hizi video. Iko mwanafunzi ana hizi video. Anyway, sababu ya time, kama una hizi video, oh yeah, hii ndio namba unapiga simu unatafuta. Hii ndio namba unapiga simu 0719525000. Hii ndio namba unapiga simu, unanunua hizo videos 500 per paper, per subject. Per subject. 500 per subject. Eight videos for each paper. Itakusaidia zaidi, itakusaidia zaidi. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. Can we rely on those videos? No. You'll, you'll work with the videos under this last session. Right now I've come to the studio. Nanda toka hapa kwa studio on Thursday. Right? Right? Saizi ya pana chukua chukua vitabu kusoma. Wewe jeni na mnagi. Ulata kusoma concept mpia. Saizi ya kuna kusoma concept mpia. Saizi unakufa na whatever you have. These videos will help you. And then of course these normal discussions that we have here normal discussions that we have here especially moving forward for papers like AFM you realize i will be concentrating a lot with theories why because i know theories at least 30% utapita AFM kwa kujua theory na sisi tunasema tu ni accountant mr aram ama mrs theory where so long as upi upite so long as upite so long as upite thank you very much wewe wacha na hiyo mambo hata ma ACCA books unless i've told you go and read that question twende mbele sasa angalieni hapa Mshasikia terminology ambayo inaitwa synergy. Synergy. Mshasikia terminology ambayo inaitwa synergy. What is synergy? Synergy. Synergy. Katika LM, what is synergy? What is synergy? What is synergy? What is 1 plus 1 equals 3? Yes. That is and gentlemen, whenever we combine forces, the combined force automatically will be bigger and better. When we have two or more organizations coming together, two or more organizations combined efforts are like that two or more organizations here coming together we shall not get 1 plus 1 being equal to, it, it will be more so in this case here there are more benefits when more benefits to be realized whenever organizations come together the extra benefit the extra benefit is what we are calling the extra benefit for coming together is what we are calling synergy is what we are calling synergy Now could you kindly then tell me the importance of synergy the importance of synergy the importance of synergy 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 or importance of mergers and acquisitions as a strategy the importance the importance the importance of mergers and acquisitions as a, a strategy wamemaliza tayari hata hata kabla nimalize kuna hiyo economies of scale i'll pick the economies of scale i'll pick the economies of scale very fast because in this case economies of scale because now we shall be purchasing bigger quantities we shall be purchasing bigger quantities purchasing bigger quantities purchasing bigger quantities aha aha mimi naangojea synergy why should we take this synergy 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 number two, ladies and gentlemen the other concept of synergy where we are able to produce this extra we are able to produce this extra why we are able to produce this extra why we are able to produce this extra is because of what year tax savings i like that tax savings especially when one of the firms that has come into this acquisition into this merger is loss making is loss making is loss making is loss making there is nobody who is speaking of market visibility market visibility 
Look at, for example, this bank that we call NCBA. Before the merger, NCBA was nothing. But right now, in terms of uh, clientele, NCBA is ahead of what here is ahead of Equity Bank by far. But you see what made them to go ahead of Equity Bank is because of what the Fuliza accounts, all Fuliza accounts. So even if you don't know, especially if you have uh, some Fuliza account, you are a member of who? NCBA. So market, so bigger, bigger will be more visible, will be more visible. Na government tenders a policy, uyo ni heta, aki uyo ni heta, uyo ni heta. Ladies and gentlemen, we have here the concept of what year cost reduction. Cost of reduction because of what year shared resources. Shared resources because of shared resources. Shared resources. Kama sasa NCBA, haina CEO wa wili, CEO moja lazima ende nyumbani. 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 Thank you very much. I'm so sure you guys mungepata yo correct sana. So before niangalia case study, before niangalia case study, case study, remember whatever you guys were writing there is very correct. Eh? Mine are just eh? high level, high level. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the next thing. Let's go to the next thing. Let's go to the next thing. The next thing is uh, disadvantages of budgets. Disadvantages, disadvantages, disadvantages of budgets disadvantages of budgets right disadvantages of budget i'm a disadvantages of a controlling function you know budget is a controlling function it's a controlling function component disadvantages of budgets disadvantages of budgets araka araka yes number one ladies and gentlemen is that uh, this budgets are quite rigid they are quite rigid. Rigidity. Rigidity. Muna kuja mwanzo wa mwaka. Una kuja naka idea, initiative. Una kuja naka idea, unambua taakaka kwa budget. So zero allowance. So rigidity is what we call inflexibility. Thank you very much. Inflexibility, 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 inflexibility. I like that. So ladies and gentlemen, basically under rigidity, this thing hinders... They hinder, they hinder, they hinder innovation. They hinder innovation. So, so, so far, you've only given me one point. So far, Jaona Paul. Mbuna muandiki sasa woye. Mimi siwane mukiandika woye. Ya, Jenny amesema, ladies and gentlemen, hata kabla Jenny, kuna mwina amejua sana yuma concept hapa. Kuna mwingine amejua yuma concept ya kesana. Amejua kumba this thing is very much time consuming. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in this case here lack of what here technical skills of doing, in this case here lack of technical skills of doing a proper budgets, of doing proper budgets. Yes, very costly. Those are the kind of things in this case here you write, which will be very good for you, very good for you instead of uh, every time you're only looking at the ceiling. Instead of looking at the ceiling throughout, these are the kind of things that I expect you guys to be writing. These are the kind of things that I expect you guys to be writing. Great. Great. So costly. Apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, let me see. Let me see. Nangoja bado points. A budget, you nangoja points mingi. Budget. Budget nangoja points mingi sana. Budget, me nangoja points mingi sana za budget. Ladies and gentlemen, budgets also consider, they also consider, they consider, they consider, they consider uh, financial outcomes only. They consider financial outcomes. They consider financial outcomes only. So basically they are quantitative models. They are quantitative models. They are quantitative models. Those models here that tell us that money is the most important thing in life. That money is the most important thing in life. It cannot be true. Money cannot be the most important thing. Right? Right? 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Hilda and Tuliza, how about accuracy? Of course, we know in most cases, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because of our unrealistic standards, unrealistic standards, unrealistic standards, even achievability of these budgets, ladies and gentlemen, becomes what here becomes uh, not easy, right? Right? Spend it or lose it. Uh -huh. Like this concept of spend it or lose it. You always get most NGOs telling you, you know what? Now we are coming to the end of our financial year. Let's try to burn. That is the language they use. Let's try to burn everything. So it's either you spend it or lose it. That brings in a very bad mentality of wastage, of wastage. Spend it or lose it. Oscar, how did you get to know that kind of a good point? Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, great, 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 great. Ah, we go to the next one. State three advantages, state three advantages, state three advantages, state three advantages of forging strategic alliances. Three advantages, three advantages of forging, forging like this, forging strategic, strategic alliances, strategic alliances. Strategic alliances, this is quite an important strategy. Remember, under strategic alliance, you will get in this case here, for example, government. Government is so much known for this. So the government will come and look at some of its parastatals. So for example, we have like Kenya Railways Authority. So Kenya Railways, Kenya Railways, Kenya Railways, Kenya Railways, in this case here, the government realized it can't really, it doesn't have the capacity of running Kenya Railways at all. So what did they do? They brought in an investor from France, and then they gave uh, him some stake of about what year? 50%. So it's kind of a, a strategic partnership, yes. So then could you kindly give me just, I don't want so many of them. I only want three. I only want three. I like what Achisa is telling me. Optimal decisions here can be achieved. Optimal decisions can be achieved, yes. Optimal decisions can be achieved. Why? Because now we have an opportunity of bringing in experts. Experts, thank you very much. It is a very serious a tool of fundraising. Fundraising, like when the France guy was being brought in, of course, he must have in in injected what here, some capital. He must have injected in some capital. I like what DT Arab Moy, I need to talk to this guy. DT Arab Moy, Daniel Toroy, teacher Arab Moy, I need to talk to this guy. This must be my destiny connector, isn't it? This must be my destiny connector. He's telling me, number three, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, once we talk of strategic alliance, the concept of synergy straight away comes in. The concept of synergy straight away comes in. Right? Nobody here is talking of uh, learning opportunities. Learning opportunities. Learning opportunities. When you keep on, in this case, you're bringing in partners, bringing in partners, you will learn quite a lot. You will learn quite a lot when you keep in bringing in partners into your businesses, right? It has got its own disadvantages, but yes, Mera Banasema, it also becomes, ladies and gentlemen, a very good tool of marketing. It's a marketing strategy. It's a marketing strategy, especially when you want to enter new markets in a different countries in different countries so this becomes quite a serious quite a serious model marketing model yes marketing model marketing model marketing model ah great 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 so remember ladies and gentlemen as i told you it's all about you keeping on you keeping on writing it's all about you keeping on writing Great. Ah, great. 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 This one, I don't have to really even mention it here because I'm so sure all of us uh, know what it is. The concept of what here, the concept of uh, Michael Porter's value chain this one i'm so sure everybody's quite aware of this 
if they bring anything to do with the value chain, this one, I'm 100% sure everybody will get it correct. Everybody will get this correctly. Nobody can lose even a single mark, especially if they bring it in form of a, a case question. Value chain, who can write just some one sentence before I go to another area? Just write for us just one sentence. Just one sentence, just one sentence. Write for us one sentence. Thank you very much, Ellen. Mona Ellen Verasema Pith, Nikajua straight away. Yeah, me kamata sana. But how come there's only one student who is able to write something about? Is there a problem with this? 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 Ah, it's new to me, Mary. Mary, you've been in my class throughout. Robert Nimugeni, I can. <laughs> Jesse and Attacker Mimi Nikue, a, a, a pilot. Jesse and Attacker Nikue, and I said, touch it the helicopter way. Thank you very much. I can see what they're telling me. Mwalimu Chora Kile Kikitu Kinakana Mnahi, Kia Value Chain. So, Iki to your value chain, Iki to your value chain, ladies and gentlemen, Iki to your value chain. In a car, J. Iki to your value chain. Oh, oh, okay. So, value chain. So value chain, we have value chain. Sorry, sorry for that. Somebody is saying, Mwalimu, you have not given us time to take screenshots. I, I will, I will do that. But now remember my brother, it is uh, really helicopter, 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 helicopter. So we have what we call pith. You're right. And then this one here, we have five of them. We have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. But if you want, aha, Procurement, Infrastructure, Technology, HRM. So this P stands for Procurement. Procurement, Procurement. We have this uh, I standing for Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Then we have what we call Technology. Technology. And then we have Human Resource Management like that. Human Resource Management. And of course, as Jesse is telling us, these ones here are what here? They're not the most important. They are secondary. Secondary, you can even decide in this case here to do what here to outsource. But now we have the core ones, the primary ones. Is there anybody who is able to remember the primary ones very fast? Is there anybody who is able to remember the primary ones very fast? The primary ones very fast. Yes, just an assembly of Kwanza in a Fakua inbound. Inbound logistics. Inbound logistics. Ya Kwanza. Ya Pili J. Ya Pili na Fakua outbound Wongo. How to bound a couple of kupika? Neke we. Neke. Ya pili na faku upike hapa. Operations. Operations kwanza. Ndiyo sa useme outbound. Ndiyo useme outbound. Outbound logistics. Ndiyo useme outbound logistics. Outbound logistics. Right. And then we have sales and marketing. Sales and marketing. Sales and marketing. We have sales and marketing. Sales and marketing. Sales and marketing. Thank you very much. And then lastly, Jane and Asema, the after sales. After sales. After sales, remember, this is what we call the value chain. If you want to add a lot of value, and the value is normally here, the value is in the form of what your profit. The value is in the form of profit. This is the profit. Now, the more in this case here you really work on these things, the more your profit goes like that. The more this thing in this case here becomes what here? Fatter and fatter. Fatter and fatter, right? The more the profit you make. If you realize the organization that you guys work for are making losses throughout. They're making losses throughout because you do not have strategies surrounding the value chain. If you simply follow the value chain very, very seriously, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, you will automatically be able to post what here, be able to post our profits there. We'll be able to post our profits there, huge profits. Na nika wapati ya story mzuri, lemi na sangamu na saa Nika wapati ya story mzuri. Story ya Hilton, Hilton, Hilton Hotel, na hile ingine ya Kibandaxi, Kibanda, Kibanda. Unapata samaki Hilton ni about 5,000. Unapata Kibanda, na unauza eh, samaki tamu sana, samaki tana, eh, tamu sana ni 250. Hii kumbuka ya Hilton, imeka kwa fridge, maybe a whole month was in a skater, fadali kwa unafanya kazi yuko. Hii ya Kibanda ni fresh. But in this case, you'll get so many people. If you went, for example, today at Hilton Hotel at one, uh -huh, when they are serving, when they were serving their buffet, 
you'll be surprised how many people are on the queue to purchase that fish or whatever buffet at 5,000. Why is that the case? Why is Hilton able to post huge profits running into millions and millions? And yet our Kibandas here, despite selling great food content, they are making losses. Our party kit, Mamamboga, Nakimbia, International. It's because Hilton Hotel believes in what we call value chain. So come on the inbound logistics, ladies and gentlemen. Come on the inbound logistics, ladies and gentlemen. Utaona kama ni Hilton, wanakuja na kavan, kavan, in this case, ya mbapo ni refrigerated, right? Kanapita kule nyuma vizuri, wanapak masamaki zao kwa stores. Ile kibanda, ule the poor lady, the ladies and gentlemen, mama poor gentlemen, the ladies and gentlemen, suppliers waki wakimuletea samaki, aki wanapita katikati ya wale watu ambao wanafanya nini? Wale watu ambao wanakula. Unaona? Iyo ni kujiangusha. And there is no way value yako itakuwa juu. In a folk winner, Mlangota Fautia, Rona. Right? So, in this case, here, as a gentleman, inbound, how are you bringing in your raw materials? How are you preparing this food of yours? How are, what techniques are you using? Have you automated your processes, for example? So, the operations are very important. Right? So, Utapata, you mama, Wakibanda, who you, Katika Operations Kitchen, Amesema Pale Mlango, Ikona Mnagani. Mlango wa meandika mlango, it is only staff who are allowed to get E in a shaman on them, simply because they know the status inside there is so bright. And if you look at these big hotels like now, last time I told you about Serena Hotel, Serena Hotel, they were doing an open kitchen setup. They would want, when you are at their swimming pool, they would want you to be seeing how your food is being prepared. At times you can even go and have a, a, a chat with the chef, right? That is where we are heading to. In this corona pandemic, you can't tell people not to get into your kitchen and you expect to command a high price. So it's about value chain. It's about value chain. And then, of course, we have outbound. How do you serve? How do you serve its food? How do you take your goods, in this case here, to your customers? Kamani Hilton, what was China? I'm of Lana on Auza Pala. I'm a Vizuri. Right? Good uniforms. Like in Umwingine international disaster, we don't even have to talk about this because some of us mekula kwa kibanda leo. Anya mjakula kwa kibanda, mjakula lunch. Situko pamoja na njini yo lunch hour. Sales and marketing, of course, Hilton has a website. These guys don't have a website, right? There's no value addition there. After sales services, ladies and gentlemen, we talk, we check out from Hilton. Wana kuandikienda taka email. Wana kuliza how was your XP? How was your experience? What can we do better? We complain kidogo, these guys will even call you for something. Yes. Right? Right? They always call you for something. Kiangalia, for example, kama uh, uh, Sarova Stanley. I happen to be a member of Sarova Stanley Gym, right? So once you are a member there, those guys have got quite a lot of things. Kama say over Christmas festivities, when they are charging others like 50,000 per room, they'll give it to you for about 20,000 over Christmas, 24th, 25th, like that. So simply, these guys are able to push their profitability because they always think about their customers. You keep on going there severally, these guys will tell you, hey, we have a membership club, right? Join here, and once you join here, these are the best, so long as you book, of course, for them quite early in advance. There's a gentleman, Hilton, of course, has got a procurement department, Kibanda Person, Hana Procurement, the owner and Yokila Kitu. These guys here have got the right uh, infrastructure. Ukiwa, for example, come on, Hil no, not even Hilton, eh? For example, Stanley, they have in this case a very good infrastructure. If it is their swimming pool, it's a heated pool. It's a heated pool, right? So what I can assume is that you have to say that you have to say No. We have a very good sauna, right? And a steam bath. So if you have to say that you have to steam bath for 30 minutes, you feel nice. So if they come and tell you, in this case, you pay 5,000 for their food, you not think twice, right? Right, so the, the infrastructure, the, the, the ambience, technology, of course, they are technologically uh, advanced, and of course, they must be having a human resource manager who believes that uh, uh, it's not right to have a high employee turnover. Uyu kibanda, unanga namna gani kusu kibanda employees, kibanda employees, kibanda employees, kibanda employees, kibanda employees, casual, na wanaenda kulikwe, Wanda kweli kweli. Yeah, kwa towels. <laughs> we shall overcome. Yeah, yeah. Great, great, great. Thank you very much. Great, 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 great. So that is it. And I would want us to uh pictures.
mlikuwa mshapiga mshapiga picha yes hilton has wifi versus kibanda kibanda wa isaka ndo ucheza na simu yako hapa kibanda anataka ukule haraka haraka uende za uende zako uende zako mwanafunzi aliuliza swali mzuri liza gentleman hii inakuwa uve namna gani kwa case it's very possible watapata tu story wakuulizwa uko chini how in this case here for example can this company increase their competitive advantage or what is it doing incorrectly so be able to say as per value chain this is what this guy is expected to do eh uh-huh. great akibanda kuna kwa na moshana ya area i doubt jenny kibanda atawezi kubalika ku hapana wewe jenny nakao jana kibanda bado unapiga moshana na mla gani kwa kibanda imejaa kuli kuna ndako maliza rako utoke uwezi piga story kwa kibanda sana hiyo umetudanganya uwezi piga story sana kwa kibanda hiyo umetudanganya Now Los Angeles I would want you to do me a favor I would want you to do me a favor I would want you guys to go ahead and give me the three levels three levels of strategy three levels of strategy Waje tuone kama wanazikumbuka three levels three levels of strategy three levels of strategy three levels of strategy of course these are those things Los Angeles that you can only understand when exams are near that's why i normally even myself teach them towards the end so mesema kwamba ya kwanza tuko na corporate strategy strategies at the top corporate strategy i like this corporate strategy aha uh-huh. number 2 ni gani somebody kabla kabla aha uh-huh. kuna business strategy kuna business strategy like that and then lastly kuna gani somebody operational operational or functional operational or functional strategy so remember aha uh-huh. so have you been able to write this have you been able to write this ladies and gentlemen have you been able to write this Uwezi na kana mna hiyo zinachorwa hivi eh uwezi nachorwa hivi zinachorwa hivi namna hii namna hii haraka haraka helicopter number 1 number 2 in number 3 in number 1 number 2 hapo number 3 chora namna hiyo So hapa juu ni corporate level hapa ni gani somebody business level hapa chini ni operational functional Okay Now ladies and gentlemen remember that uh, corporate strategy these are those strategies that are made by top level management they are made by top level management 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 of course the board the board where the ceo sits right And normally these are about what here for example this will be about things like uh, the new markets the new markets ladies and gentlemen we are going to be going in 2022 right we have uh, do we need to do any acquisitions do we need to do any disposals those are strategic decisions yeah policies the policies of the company yes general policy of the company from there now ladies and gentlemen we go to the business so business business strategy business strategies what do we have business strategy remember the word business this business strategy right will always uh, be made at what we call the strategic business unit strategic business unit strategic business unit so in this particular case we are going to have different of course we have within within for example like now where i work where i work we have different business lines different business lines different business lines for example we have in this case here a business line 
of implementation when, when we sell softwares, when we do this. So basically, whenever you hear of business strategy, this is all about how do we make our organization busy? How do we make our organization busy? How do we make our different business units here busy? So how do we make them more competitive? So whenever you talk of uh, business, ladies and gentlemen, business level, business level or business strategies, basically we are asking ourselves, how do we compete? How do we compete as an organization? How do we compete as an organization? Right? And of course, uh, Michael Porter is a uh, competitive, competitive. Michael Porter's competitive strategies. Does not make up Michael Porter's competitive strategies. Does not make up a business. Michael Porter's competitive strategies. Does not make up a business. Is only come again, Michael Porter. So, how do we compete on your business? How do I make, in this case, here, if it's my business unit that I'm leading at Arrow, how do I make it more competitive? More competitive. So number one, I can uh, advise my people, in this case here, how to do what here? To differentiate, differentiation, differentiation. And then number two, ladies and gentlemen, we have the concept of what here? Cost leadership, cost leadership, cost leadership. And then number three, we have what we call focus, focus. So like right now, there is one department which directly falls under me, I'm really trying to look at it's an academy. It's an academy. I'm trying to look at uh, how do we differentiate our courses, right? We train IFRS. How do we make our IFRS is much better? For example, by ensuring that the students that we have will be able to do their IFRS computations in Excel. So teach them Excel. Course leadership, like right now, we are trying to develop uh, a system where we are going to have uh, partnerships with colleges and universities where university students in this case here, for example, will be able to get in and do an IFRS course with us at 5,000, right? When you're charging others 100,000, these guys will come in and do uh, the course with us. At, so course leadership, right? And then of course, focus, focus like ourselves, of course, we deal with group consolidation. So we don't teach like everything. We only focus on IFRSs, which will make you become a group accountant a group auditor. So we are really focusing. By focusing, we shall be able to make our business unit much better. So this is business strategy or business what your business level. And then now we have number three. Number three is all about functional. So functional, the key functions of the farm, the key functions of the farm. Of course, we have a sales and marketing. We have administration. We have distribution. These key functions, we need a marketing strategy we need an, an administrative strategy, for example, in terms of our HR distribution strategy. How do we, how do we, ladies and gentlemen, for instance, how do we, or rather, where will we be better off as a distribute? Do we distribute this thing ourselves or we outsource like what uh, uh, EABL has done with DHL? Okay, okay, so there we are, there we are. So have you been able to pick something at a high level, which you guys will be able to use at least, so you don't, you don't get a zero if they bring this kind of a question. Have you been able to pick something at a high level? At a high level, I don't want you to get them really deeply. No, high level, high level. Yes, thank you very much. Ah, Elena Sema, she thought that Michael Porter, Nizile, no, 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 Michael Porter, Michael Porter, uh, Nishuja, ni, ni Michael Porter, akona about three models about me publish. Kuna Michael Porter, five forces, Kuna Michael Porter's value chain, na Kuna Michael Porter's leadership strategies, leadership strategies, leadership strategies, right? Is it of five forces on a full of wheelie? Is it of five forces nigani? 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 So tafadali, kit your mana zaidi, muskasau ku watch videos. The last mile videos, no ambia maramingi kit wana fuza washikangi, wing wana kujanga badai, last mile, alafata yaibu zaidi, 
ni wale wanafunzi nilikuwa nao kwa darasa wanakosa ku watch tumekuwa nao throughout wanasema kwamba they are very busy wana ile siku tunaenda kule unajua tunaenda tunaenda mahali after this tunaenda mahali isinya nataka tuongee kwanza kwa kitu kwa group lazima naonyeshe pia how to invest tunaenda tukienda isinya unaanza kusikia mwanafunzi anaweza kusema mimi siku ilikuja kwa ile video siku watch uh, uh, we must watch so this last mile videos there are eight videos make sure that you watch all of them watch all of them and for the students of course wale ambao wanaingia wageni tunaziuza at Kenya shillings 500 per paper per paper and this is our number this is our number this is our number and we have last mile for all the papers last mile for all the papers sitakusaidia zai, zaidi so turudi kwa Michael Porter Michael tuanze tena Michael Porter Michael Porter five forces Michael Porter five forces Michael Porter Michael Porter five forces Michael Porter five forces so Michael Porter five forces how long are the videos maximum 2 hours maximum 2 hours maximum 2 hours maximum 2 hours so let me rub this i hope you guys have taken in this number right so Michael Porter five forces that can throw you out of business ni gana gani ni gana gani aki wengi waniongeleshi those five forces that can throw you out of business like they they can't cover they can't cover the whole unit really yes gentlemen and be customers can easily throw you out of business so customers power i'm a customers force we have new entrants new entrants can come in new entrants can come in and they take you home so we have suppliers these guys are not very nice we don't pay them on time these guys can easily come and even take over right we have the rivalry existing rivalry existing rivalry and then we have power of who power of substitutes power of who power of substitutes like that yes yes i can see olo amekamata maneno pia tukule diamond eh nikwambia michael porter me form nini mingi sana michael porter me form model mingi sana ndio kama baba management sa hizi so how can customers in this case here force you out of business how can customers force you out of business of course by bargaining isn't it they keep on bargaining and if you are not careful utatoka biashara kama sasa tulikuwa na wachaja 100 shillings wakakataa kulipa tukafanya tumekuja zero see i'm almost going out of business now see i'm almost going out of business <laughs> no of course of course we have the biggest right now rcm online college we are the biggest college in town and because of that of course i have to really get out get out get out and assist yes so in this case ladies and gentlemen you are right so customers in this case are through asking for a lot of bargains if especially you depend on very few customers if you depend on very few customers one day utaamuka upate hauna chochote wameenda and that is why you are told in this case to diversify your customer base that is why for example if you look at what i do by the way if you want to succeed out there do exactly what mwalimu does i'm a good marketer i know how to build my sales pipeline right like now on whatsapp i have a, a, approximately more than 5000 students who are customers on whatsapp ona kana fanya ujinga but i know exactly what i'm doing like now today i created one for leadership and management and i got over how many 100 students some of them of course are very new that's my future sales pipeline right that's my future sales pipeline so you must know how to grow your customer base and then of course we have new entrants so new entrants of course like when dangote cement was coming on board dangote cement alikuwa anakuja kujenga plant yake pale kitui karibu amalize angekuja tu hivi ingekuwa shida sana lakini alifanya bei ya cement zikaterem zikateremuka bei ya cement zikateremuka and then of course suppliers ladies and gentlemen these guys if you are not careful they can easily of course they will 